business i just is a uh, market so what is meant by a market uh, a market for a particular good or service is made up of the total number of customers and potential customers as well as sellers for that particular good or service so it's a market because it it entails customers not only customers customers that will still be coming in the future and also buyer or sellers those who sell particular good or service in that market that makes it a market so how do we measure it it can be measured by the total number of sales or by the value of the sales for that good or service by all suppliers of that particular or good or service so the market for bottled water bottled water is being produced by different suppliers so you can measure the market for this by calculating the total supplies in the market in terms of bottled water that means not just one supply all supplies from different brands the total of supplies from different brand in that market you can measure it through that or the value of sales for the total supply in that market you can measure it with that so that means it's the market for bottled water is measured or is based on the total number of customers or potential customers that are going to buy bottled water or the, buy the total number of suppliers of bottled water in that market mm. So this can be either in the mass or niche. So we have two types of markets here. We have the mass market and the niche market. So why do we call it mass? We call it the mass market because it sells to large numbers of customers. So they said here, if a product has a very high level of sales, it is almost certainly being sold in a mass market. In these markets, many people in the population will buy the product, for example, aspirin, washing powder or soap. Products are designed to appeal to the whole market and therefore the advertising and promotions are intended to appeal to most customers. So for a mass market, it is mass appealing. So you are selling the product to virtually all customers within that market. Yes. So it's, it's large numbers of customers. So it means for you to be able to sell, you would need to be able to, you know, to invest more in advertisement. Because in that market, it, it is characterized with large numbers of sellers too so you're not just going to be the only one selling in that market so a lot of sellers are there there are a lot of competitors so for you to stand out it would have meant that you are doing something which others don't do yes uh, do you get it yes. so advertisement is one of the things you could do to enable you to sell more than your competitors so what are, what are the advantages of selling to a mass market number one total sales in these markets are very high so the total revenue in the market is high. So you, it is expected of you to make more sales if you are selling in the mass market because you are selling to large no customers. Are, it's large customers are appealing. So you are selling to large numbers of customers. So it is expected of your business to make large sales. Yeah. So the business can benefit from economies of scale. Yes, because you are operating on a larger scale. And if you are operating on a larger scale, one, you'll be purchasing large quantities, which enables purchases economies of scale. Mm. And selling, on a in selling in the mass market can also allow you to use equipment based on the fact that you are able to make more revenue. You can, you can be able to get equipment that makes your work, to, your business or your products to be more efficient. And that's technical econ technological economies of scale. So because you are in the market that is expected to give you more in terms of revenue, in terms of profit, you will be able to enjoy different economies of scale. The third one, risk can be spread as often the business will sell several different variations of products to the mass market. And if one variety of the product fails, then the other products may still sell well. So you can diversify. And it is when you are able to diversify, you can spread your risk. So in the mass market, you can do that. So it's, it's likely that you sell different kinds of products. Mm. This is a small bottle of water. They have a bigger one than this. The company might produce even such a ton. So... If this is not selling, that will sell. And they might even go into other beverages because they are selling in the mass market. It's mass appealing. Conglomerate. Yeah, they could go into conglomerate, yes. So they can spread their risk. That's the third advantage. So if one is not selling, the other one would sell. The fourth one, the fourth advantage, opportunities for growth of the business due to large potential sales. There's always opportunity for expansion. Because it's a mass market, mm. you are selling on a larger scale. And as soon as you feel like the demand, is continue, the, the demand continues to increase. You need to meet up with the needs of customers. To meet up with the needs of customers, you might need to invest in capital or capital resources or human resources. Yes. 
So that is what expansion is talking about. So what are the problems about selling in the mass market? One, high levels of competition between business selling similar products. The competition is fierce. As a result of that, you should be expecting a fall in revenue because you'll be jostling for customers. All the customers are here. There's no customer in heaven. So mm -hmm. that means you have to fight for those customers. Two, high cost of advertising and promotion. You need to involve, you need to invest in advertisement because you are, it's not only your product that is on the lookout for. Mm -hmm. A lot of products are on display. So for your product to stand out, you need to invest on advertisement. And not only advertisement, also different sales promotion to appeal customers, to convince them. Yeah. The third point, standardized products or services are produced and so may not meet the specific needs of all customers or potential customers, therefore leading, leading to lost steps. Products are standardized. So if you are not meeting up with the quality, customers will be wanting, oh, sorry, they're going to go for your co competitors, those that produce better than what you are producing. Yeah. Customers have choices. As a result of that, there's a standard they set. So the, it, there's something expected of your product. If your product cannot give that expectation, because we say quality is meeting customers' expectation. So if your, comp if your product doesn't meet demand of customers, I'm sorry, they're going to leave. They buy from your competitors. Then you'll be losing revenue.